नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल इन ऑगस्ट 2022, जस्ट बिफोर द गुजरात इलेक्शंस, 11 कॉन्विक्ट्स, कॉन्विक्ट्स फॉर रेप एंड मर्डर वर लेट गो अंडर द रेमिशन पॉलिसी ऑफ गुजरात गवर्नमेंट दीज वर द सेम पीपल दैट रेप बिल्किस बानो किल दर एंटायर फैमिली इंक्लूडिंग हर थ्री इयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड in front of her while she was being raped these people were sent free and uh, not only the fact that they were let go they were felicitated by few people there god knows who did that but they were felicitated with garlands and tikas and all of that and we have been speaking about that from august 2022 almost day after day Bilkis Banu went from door to door Bilkis Banu went to every court seeking justice saying that these people raped me these people killed my children my child my family ha huh, and uh, nothing seems to have happened till today that is the 8th of January 2024 when justice bb nagaratna set aside the remission set aside the remission of these 11 convicts and these 11 convicts they have to go back to the prison let's talk about that let's get right into the show 2022 15th of august these people were given remission uh, by the gujarat government and uh, today a red letter day to my mind a red letter day to my mind where justice nagaratna set aside that remission now i'm going to read a lot to you because this is judgment so i want you to i don't want to go wrong and i want you to know the exact picture so i'm going to read out a lot from this judgment and then we will spend 10 minutes talking about the analysis for starters uh, justice nagaratna who authored the judgment began her pronouncement by invoking the classic greek philosopher this is very very interesting the classic greek philosopher plato who said punishment is to be inflicted not for the sake of vengeance but for the sake of prevention and reformation in his treatise plato reasoned that lawgivers as far as he can ought to imitate the doctor who does not apply his drug with a view to pain only but to do the patient good the curative theory of punishment likens penalty to medicines administered for the sake of one being chastised thus if a criminal is curable he ought to be improved by education and other suitable art and then set free as a better citizen and less of a burden to the state the postulate lies at the heart of the policy of remission this is how she started her judgment she went on to say that a woman deserves respect however high or low she may otherwise be considered in the society or whatever faith she may follow or whatever creed she may belong to can heinous crime against women permit remission these are the issues which arises in its judgment the court maintained five points five points broadly and i am going to give you a summation of those point five points point number 1 is answering the question of whether the petition filed by bano one of the victims under article 32 of the constitution was maintainable the bench said it is clearly maintainable the argument of senior advocate guru krishna kumar and v chitambresh are not accepted the court said this petition is maintainable that's the first thing the second thing that the court said the court refused to answer the question whether the petition filed as a public interest litigation petition was maintainable the court said we do not think it is necessary to answer this question since one of the victim herself 
has approached the court. The question of maintainability of PILs do not call for any answers being rendered academic and it is left open in an appropriate case. Consideration of the merits of Bano's petition is enough. So first, they spoke about whether Bilkis Bano's petition is maintainable and secondly, the question was about the PIL as a whole, whether a PIL is maintainable. So that was point one, point two. Now let me go to point three. The judge proceeded to read the portion of the ruling dealing with the competence of the state of Gujarat to pass the remission orders and this is what she said. She said this clearly means that the place of occurrence of the incident or the place of imprisonment are not relevant consideration and they have to be excluded from the definition of section 432 of the code of criminal procedure. The intent of legislature is that the appropriate government is of the state within which a convict was tried and sentenced. The emphasis is on the place of trial and sentence rather than the place of commission of the offense and sentencing. This also takes within the ambit a situation where the trial is transferred from the competent court within the territorial jurisdiction of one state in another state. Now, very clearly, she said the decision was made in Maharashtra, not in Gujarat. So, if the decision, the judgment was given in Maharashtra, then it Gujarat does not have the right to reverse the judgment or to give a remission. This is what the point third was. Now the fourth point. The fourth point is while answering the question whether the impugnant remission orders were in accordance to the law, Justice Nagaratna was very clear about it. She says we need not to have gone into the other issues, but for the sake of completion, we have rule of the law is breached because the Gujarat government, I repeat, because the Gujarat government usurped power, not vested in it and abused its power. The exercise of power by the state of Gujarat is an instance of usurping of power and abuse of power. This is a classic case where the order of the court was used to violate the rule of law by granting remission. On the ground also, the remission orders deserve to be quashed. This is what the judge said. The judge said that Gujarat government, Gujarat government, the state of Gujarat has usurped, they has misused their power. They have misused their powers of by giving this uh, remission. So uh, she was very cat categoric and she was very scathing when she said this. And the last, the fifth point she said is while dealing with the issue of what would follow when the remission orders have been set aside, the court revealed that it was a delicate issue that was given an anxious consideration by the judges. In answering this question, the bench weighed the paramountcy of the rule of law against the personal liberty of the convict. When Article 21 did not per permit a deprivation of an individual right to liberty in a manner not supported by the law, could liberty be upheld in the face of breach of the rule of law? Justice Nagaratna asked. The judge also spoke about the role of constitutional court being beacon of upholding the rule of law, which she insisted must be preserved and mindful of the ripples of consequences. Liberty of a person is not at the cost of going against the law. Because there is liberty of a person, there is liberty of an individual, that doesn't mean that to give that liberty of the individual, no matter however sensitive the case is, you go against the law. That is incorrect. And finally, directing the convicts to be sent back to jail, Justice Nagaratna said that if the convicts can circumvent the consequences of their conviction, the peace and tranquility in the society will be reduced to a chimera. Chimera is basically something that you hope for, but you can never achieve. So peace and tranquility you can hope for, but you can never achieve it. So if, 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 uh, if convicts uh, can circumvent, if such convicts can circumvent, uh, you know, uh, punishment after doing such crime, the courts has to be mindful 
not just to the spelling of justice but also to the content of it it is the duty of the court to correct arbitrary orders at the earliest and to retain the foundation of the trust of public we cannot forget the conduct of the convicts particularly the one who has abused the process of his court the prevention of liberty is justified in as much as they have been erroneously set at liberty one cannot overlook the fact that they were in jail for a little over 14 years with liberal payrolls and for longs the status quo ante must be restored plea of protection of liberties of these convicts cannot be accepted by us the rule of law must prevail when the impugned orders are set aside the consequences must follow a beautiful judgment a beautiful judgment where finally the judge justice nagaratna says that listen you know what if you are going to if such such criminals rapist murderers are going to circumvent law and we let that happen under the personal liberty the peace and tranquility in the society is just a myth it is it cannot be real it cannot be real so two or three major highlight is justice nagaratna very clearly said that the state of gujarat very clearly has misused power she also went on to say that if such murderers and convicts gets for law gets parole easily then this entire concept of our tranquility justice and all will be a myth it will not be reality i hope people in haryana high courts of haryana is also hearing this because something similar is happening there too with uh, ram rahim insan or whatever that man is called same thing is happening there that said for me i for me it's a red letter day a child of india bilkis banu got justice her rapist the people who murdered her family are back we stood by her from the day one and we will continue to stand by bilkis banu and the likes of bilkis banu so before i end i have one more point to make you see while we say that uh, the convicts they are they are they are back in prison all the 11 of them they are back in prison and while the judgment also said that the state of government misused their powers is that it they misused their powers and these convicts are back is there any legal steps that's going to be taken on people who took this decision people someone in gujarat government would could have taken the decision letting free murderers and and rapist somebody has taken a decision right it could be the chief minister i don't know it could be whatever whoever that someone is somebody going to be punished there is gujarat government also going to face some kind of a punishment or because they are the government they can take any decision and the court will say no no this is all rubbish and they will say oops rubbish hai kya to wapas bhej do is that how it's going to be that's another question that one needs to to ask before one rejoices this lovely judgment i also want to take you through two very interesting article i read in the news laundry one article spoke about the gap that justice chandrachur maintained between his words and his deeds and i too kind of is in agreement with this that you know what justice chandrachur says and what ultimately happens are two different things i am happy that this judgment was made by bv nagaratna justice bv nagaratna and what a beautifully made state what a beautifully made judgment but the fact remains that a lot of us a lot of us believe that the the words and the deeds of justice chandrachur are two different things which all of us believe and to counter that there was another article which said that it needs practice to preach dichotomy between informed criticism and activist outrage you see whenever we talk about justice whenever we say that why was bilkis banu not getting justice or why is this uh, ram rahim singh getting forlog the way he wants 
a lot of us are question saying that tumko kya malum law what do you know about law do you understand law do you understand the sections do you understand how the how the legal system works no i don't i don't that is why i am sitting here and talking to you and not sitting in a court and judging a case i don't understand that but as a citizen i understand that law is meant for me it is for my benefit that is what i understand it as, as a citizen if somebody harms somebody the person who harmed gets punished that is what i understand law that is a simple law i understand if somebody cheats somebody that somebody who cheated gets punished that is what i understand about law if somebody rapes somebody that person who rapes gets punished that is what i understand about law what activism are we talking about nirbhaya's rapist were hanged and rightly so her rapist were hanged and bilkis banu's rapist were let go which means does law work because you are in the right place at the right time so this bilkis banu's convicts were in gujarat uh, uh, jail and before uh, the gujarat elections and therefore under the remission they were remitted they too raped and brutally murdered they were remitted while nirbhaya because it was in delhi and there was a lot of protest and everything those rapists were hung so does law work this way so if you are in the right place at the right time and the right situation you go free and if you go by law and 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 what is what is written in the law then you are hung is that the way it works is that the way law works so stop preaching the fact that you know uh, you know it is about practice it is about understanding it is about law it is about what you know about law and all that all that is humbug a rapist has to go be in bar end of story that's the law we understand and if he is a convicted rapist both ram rahim insan and these leven they were convicted rapist a convicted rapist place is be in bars and not uh, you know some remission and some government decision and all which they do and somebody comes and preaches us and tells us are do you understand sections and laws and all that this is humbug humbug you know all this is intellectualization it is not reality some people can sit and intellectualize till cows come home but ye sab na reality nahi hai reality is if you have raped you should be behind bars that is reality and today thanks to justice nagaratna and i thank her with all my heart all my heart my gratitude that she gave a fair judgment her words and her deeds were similar that's the point i wanted to make thank you so much today is indeed a good day till i see you next time namaskar stay ahead with our cutting edge news app Instantly access the latest shorts in just 1 minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.